story of Lord Ganesha's birth. Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati lived on Mount Kailash. Most of the time, Lord Shiva would be out fulfilling other important duties which left Goddess Parvati alone in the mountains. Parvati created the statue of a child from turmeric and breathed life into him. A boy was born and Goddess Parvati accepted him as her son by naming him Ganesha. Once Goddess Parvati wanted to take a bath, there were no one around to guard her and stop anyone from accidentally entering the house. She asked him to guard the gates while she took a bath. Ganesha obediently followed his mother's orders. At that time, Lord Shiva came home and proceeded towards the gates. Lord Shiva was not aware of the child's birth by Goddess Parvati. So, he was furious when Lord Ganesh did not allow him inside his house. He told Ganesha that he was Parvati's husband and demanded that Ganesha let him go. But Lord Ganesha refused to hear him. So, Lord Shiva sent his forces to scare the child away. But Lord Ganesha had the special powers which was bestowed upon him by Goddess Parvati. So, he defeated Lord Shiva's army very easily and laughed upon them. Lord Shiva lost his patience and had a fierce battle with Lord Ganesha. At that time, he was not aware that Lord Shiva was his father. Lord Shiva was furious at the child's behavior and lost his temper. He ended up beheading Lord Ganesha's head in a fury. When Goddess Parvati stepped out, she was shocked to see the headless body of her son which made her extremely furious. She yelled at Lord Shiva and vowed to destroy the entire world as a result of his actions. Unfortunately, Shiva's Trishula was so powerful that it had hurled Ganesha's head very far off. All attempts to find the head were in vain. Lord Brahma witnessed the events and appeared in front of Goddess Parvati. He prayed to her and asked her not to destroy the world. He asked for mercy for the innocent lives on the earth. Goddess Parvati changed her mind on the condition that her son be brought back to life. Lord Shiva was filled with guilt and realized his mistake. The boy's love towards his mother was exceptional. He agreed to bring the boy back to life, but the impact of the punishment from his trident was irreversible. So, he had to find another solution. Lord Brahma suggested that Lord Shiva shall replace Ganesha's head with the first living being that came his way which lay with its head facing north. Lord Shiva ordered his bull Nandi to go to the forest and bring the head of the first animal who is found sleeping away from its mother. By chance, they found an elephant calf sleeping away from its mother. Nandi brought back the head of an elephant. Lord Shiva placed the elephant head over the body and brought him back to life. Goddess Parvati was rejoiced with her son's rejuvenation. But she felt sad that others would mock him for his unusual appearance. Lord Shiva understood Goddess Parvati's fears and summoned all the gods. They blessed the boy with many supernatural powers and boons. They named him Ganesha. He was also known as Ganapati. The gods and goddesses also blessed him as the master of wisdom and intelligence. This is how he was born and known as the God of Gods.